welcome to Make Thrift Buy. This is the show where you guys send in cool, weird, interesting clothes or accessories that you found on the internet and then I do my best to recreate them. Today's suggestion comes from Rude Waifu on Instagram. Rude Waifu wanted me to try and recreate these cutout shorts that were originally from Dolls Kill. This screenshot was the only photo that I had to go off because Google's reverse image search wasn't really helping me out here. Abdomen? Cool, okay. You guys, these weird suggestions. Anyway, let's begin on this project. So the first thing that I thought was, obviously, I needed to get myself a pair of shorts, but I really didn't want to destroy a perfectly good pair of shorts because let's be honest, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing here. So I took myself to my local markets and I found this pair being sold for $2. The original owner was all like, oh, I'm sorry, there's this big rip in them, but you know, you can probably sew them up if you know how to do that, it shouldn't be too hard. But I was just like, <laughs> you have no idea what's about to happen to these shorts. Anyway, I took this pair of shorts and uh, I just have to pretty much cut out the pockets. However, I was gonna be a little bit professional about this. I didn't wanna just cut the pocket straight out of there. So the first thing that I did was to remove these threads here. These threads are connecting both the denim part of the pocket and the pocket's lining to the shorts. To rip through these threads, I used a small sharp pair of scissors. I actually prefer using a sharp little pair of scissors instead of using a dedicated seam ripper as I find that they're a bit easier to work with. Once I had cut through a bunch of those threads, I pulled the pocket and the lining out, trying to pull apart the threads. Once I pulled it out, I discovered that I would also need to snip through the threads that were connecting the pieces right on the seam here. So once I cut through a couple of those threads, all I had to do was pull and the pocket started separating from the shorts. Once I had pulled away as much of the fabric as I could, I flipped the shorts inside out. You'll notice that there's a couple of things also keeping this pocket in place. The belt loop stitches here and these denim press stud things. So I'm also going to remove them later. First, I cut through the threads keeping the belt loop in place and I pulled it away from the pocket. Then I repeated what I did with the front of the pocket, but with the side seams. I cut through the threads on the side seams here, and then I turned the shorts inside out, and I pulled the sides of the shorts apart to continue freeing the pocket. When I got to these press stud thingies, I basically popped them off by pulling apart the fabrics wedged in between them. So as you can see here, I had now removed the sides of the pocket from the shorts. All that's still attached is the top part. For the very top of the pocket, I got lazy and I didn't want to unpick the entire waistband. So I basically grabbed some sharp fabric scissors and I cut a small slit into the top of the pocket and then I ripped the fabric away from the shorts. Then using my small sharp pair of scissors, I cut away the little fraying threads at the top here. I also applied a tiny bit of fabric glue. You could also use fray check inside this little seam here to stop any more fraying. Now I needed to sew everything back together. Because I totally busted open the side seam, I needed to sew that back together, which I did by reattaching the sides with pins and then top stitching over the side with a yellow thread that matched the original. I also needed to finish off the pocket with two lines of yellow stitching like this. And I also needed to sew the belt loop back down like this. And for all of this sewing, I was using a medium length straight stitch. Lastly, there was the issue of this hole. This is a pretty giant hole, which now we're also missing the pockets. Uh, the shorts don't really cover a lot of skin, which is fine, but I would prefer not to just look completely naked while wearing these. First, I thought that I would patch this up using a bit of matching denim from the leftover pocket material. But then I was like, who does that? If you're gonna make an obvious patch, make it really obvious. So I grabbed a bit of floral scrap fabric that I had lying around and I cut it just a little bit bigger than the hole in the shorts. I used these zigzag scissors, which are called pinking shears, to stop the edges of the fabric from fraying. Then I turned the shorts inside out and I placed the floral fabric down over the hole and pinned it on in place. I flipped the shorts right way around to make sure that the fabric was pinned correctly pinned it on a bit more so that it would stay in place, and then I sewed around the edges like this. I sewed the patch onto the shorts using a medium length straight stitch, and I went slowly to make sure that the floral fabric wasn't bunching up and it was laying flat the whole time. So now I'm sure you all wanna see, how did I go? 
So the first time I tried these on, I was wearing my usual granny style underwear, which didn't happen to work particularly well with these shorts. So I had to find my tiniest possible underwear to try it on with, and I tried again. There we go. And this is what the shorts look like. Now I actually think that these would be pretty cool shorts to wear to a summer festival or something like that. Although you'll have given yourself less places to keep your phone and wallet and all your stuff. Seriously, pockets are so useful, I don't know why you would ever choose to get rid of them. Also, where I live, it's the dead middle of winter and <laughs> I don't go to festivals. So let's be real, the only utility these shorts give me personally is to make super goofy jokes. Hey man, wanna check out my super real? Real life, real pockets. They're like so real. Yeah, I mean, like, just check them out. Psych! <laughs> if any of you ever want shorts with cut out pockets and make sure that you get yourself a high waisted pair, you can make them for yourself. So, I'm never gonna wear these, but um, Rude Waifu. I actually went and checked out their Instagram. Their name's Riley. Riley, if you want these and you're coincidentally a size. 12, which I think is a US size 8, then get in touch. I'll send them to you. I also think that you're like a young teenager and your parents probably might not be happy with you wearing these. Nonetheless, seriously, I'll send them to you. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you try out any of my DIYs, tag them with DIY Anika on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon for making these videos possible. To become a Patreon supporter, go to patreon.com forward slash Annika Victoria.